Hi friends, welcome back to The Classy Mommy. I'm Brittany and I'm glad you're here. In today's video, I wanna show you all the ways that I changed the look of a floral spring dress. I don't know about you, but sometimes I just get itchy to change things up and find something new. I also love wearing the pieces that I love on heavy repeat. So I like to find little ways that I can make something feel new or be multi-purpose. Even something as statement worthy as a very bold spring colored floral dress. And I will definitely be wearing this into summer as well. So spring, summer dresses, let's get into the pieces that I like to layer it with. Okay, first is this cropped jacket. The dress is actually spaghetti strapped, which while I'm at home, I do like to be just a little warmer and have some more sleeves or something soft on my sleeves because air conditioning in the spring and summer can be quite strong. Um, although I would feel comfortable in the spring and summer being outside while I'm at home with my family and spaghetti straps, I do like to have some kind of layering piece, typically if I'm inside. Of course, if I'm at work or with other people or going out and about, I would definitely like to cover up a little bit more. That's just what I'm most comfortable with. So my first one is this cropped jacket. I really like that the jacket goes right about my waist. I feel like it really emphasizes um, the natural curve of my waist because this dress is a, is a little bit full. And kind of draws attention to the small, most flattering part of my waist. So this is the first way. The next way I like to layer a dress like this is with a t-shirt knotted at the front. Some people buy tops that are specifically this way, but this is my one and only white t-shirt in my closet right now. I feel like it's really easy to knot it and I really like um, ending it right here at the small part of my waist. I think it's really flattering and nice and cozy for those air conditioning or slightly chillier spring days. Here's another solid color t-shirt. If you saw my video a few weeks ago, um, you've definitely seen this one. I consider this one of my extras because it's a t-shirt. Um, I just knotted it in the front and I kind of mirrored the other color that's similar in the dress. I think this could also look really lovely with the navy or with the green, but this is what I have in my closet right now. I think this short sleeve button up shirt is really fantastic for layering. I like that it brings a lot of proportion to the upper body and really complements the lower so nicely. Again, ending right at my natural waist, which is so flattering. This is a true button down, so it's not cropped. I have seen some that are made to be a little cropped and have the ties, which is fantastic as well. Um, this one I got at Fred Meyer, but I've seen so many great options out there right now. And speaking of shirts that you can buy already cropped, I actually found this cropped sweater. It's um, originally from Forever 21, but I got it at a thrift store. I like the big cozy sleeves. It is a knit. It's um, kind of a medium weight sweater, so it's really nice for spring or also <laughs> air conditioning in the summer. It has this little twist front, and I've seen a lot of styles like this currently all over the place. I like that the color um, just really complements the other colors in here as well. Are you seeing the theme here? I think finding something that ends right at the waist is so flattering with this A-line dress. Here is a little sh uh, tank top. It's in a nice creamy color, which I really think is flattering on me. Um, and I got this at Old Navy. It's still there. It's uh, not cropped, but it is a little tie front tank top. And I really think the buttons are really summery. And sticking with the theme of um, tying at the waist, um, this is just my chambray button up. I'm very, very old, thrifted from Target, uh, originally from Target. I pulled up the sleeves, buttoned it halfway, um, given it a little tie right here, and I think it's so flattering. And the last one I wanted to show you today is this non blue denim jacket. I have a coral one that would look really nice. I've got a light blue one. I've got a dark blue one. I have this in cream and I feel like it's um, just very classic, very comfortable and fantastic for being in air conditioning and especially during this transitional time in spring before it gets really warm.
All right, friends, I hope that inspires you to mix up your wardrobe a little bit, um, combine things, change dresses into um, a, a separate looking piece um, just by adding something on the top, especially as air conditioning starts coming on and the sun starts getting warmer and warmer and more present, hopefully very soon. Um, I like doing this a lot in the spring. I think at the very end of summer as we're transitioning, transitioning into fall can also be a really nice time just to extend our um, warmer weather wardrobe um, with layers. I really enjoy finding lots of different ways to wear pieces I have because I just love wearing them so much that's why I have them so I like the different options for ways to wear this dress as a dress and as a skirt I hope you guys were inspired and I'll see you next time bye